As you prepare for holiday meals this weekend and through the month, we are all dealing, of course, with the high price of groceries. It affects all of us. But we have found that high prices here in North Texas happen to be among the highest in the entire country. Caroline Vandergriff tonight looking at how that is impacting your everyday budget. Grocery store sticker shock isn't new. Foods are too high. But inflation's hit Dallas Fort Worth especially hard. Now I'm choosing between buying groceries and paying bills and doing this and doing that. Laverne know? Badger says she's had to completely change her shopping habits to get by. I buy cheaper stuff and I try to find stuff on sale. According to a federal report, from 2013 to 2022, Retail food prices in the U.S. went up by about 2% each year on average. But prices jumped 11% from 2021 to 2022. The cost in the food store has, has gone up, and unfortunately, you, you pass that on to the customer. Customers in Detroit and North Texas have seen the biggest increase in the cost of groceries. 14.49% in Detroit and 1403 in Dallas. It's for shopers to do more price comparison. Well, I've been to all the other stores, and so I can come here, I can get in a, enough for one guy and at a reasonable price. Supply chain issues have improved, and labor costs are stabilizing, according to Gary Huddleston. He's a grocery industry consultant with the Texas Retailers Association. We're cautiously optimistic that the balance of the year, that uh, in, there's still going to be some inflation. But it won't be as great as it was in prior years. Until then, shoppers will find ways to deal with the high prices. I know that I have to have it, so I just buy it. In order to put food on the table. In Fort Worth, Caroline Vandergriff, CBS News, Texas.